Hey guys, what's up? It's um, welcome back or welcome to my channel. So today I have a very, very special video. So if you guys saw my post on the community tab, you guys might already know, but today is our 5K Steady Lemon family member celebration video. And you guys voted on a poll on what video you guys would like to see. And we are doing that today. But first, of course, I would like to thank all of you guys for sticking around for so long. And I'm just overwhelmed, but in the best way possible by all of your love and support. And it just means the world to me. And I'm so thankful and blessed to have each and every one of you. And I love you guys so, so much. So without further ado, let's get started with today's video. So starting off, this is actually a new case. My friend got it for me on her trip to Korea and I love it so much. It has gotten a little bit dirty though, but I still love it. And the shape and size is just so perfect. It's the perfect medium size, but it also carries all the things that I need it to. And it's definitely a little bit more size conscious than the previous pencil case I had. I had so much stuff in there. Ooh! And I've definitely pared it down to a lot fewer things. And let's delve inside. So the first thing I have is this Moo eraser. I got this at Hobby Lobby in a two pack and I just wanted to get a nice eraser that could erase things. And yeah, um, it's pretty good and I would recommend it. It kind of has a more crumbly texture to it. It's not one of those erasers that um, feels very silicone-esque, if that makes sense. I don't even know. I feel like that's a lot to be describing an eraser. It's good, I like it, yay. <laughs> Next thing I have is this Jack Black lip balm. Actually, repurchased this recently because I lost my first one, but this is like probably my favorite lip balm of all time. It's super good. This one's the Shea Butter and Vitamin E flavor slash fragrance, and it has SPF 25. It's really pleasant. It smells really nice, and it nourishes the mouth skin. <laughs> That's gross, sorry. And it has a sort of matte finish, so it's not super glossy, so I feel like it's a very good, universal, solid lip balm. Next, I actually have two of these Tombow Dual Tip Brush Pens. I haven't been doing brush lettering that much recently, unfortunately, but I really do like the um, bullet nib parts at the back just for um, like writing headers, for like notes, or just underlining. And I've actually been using these more so to highlight, if anything. And yeah, they're nice, I like them. The next thing I have are these mild liners. I think I, yeah, oops, I did not take out all of them. So these are five mild liners. They're from different packs. I actually went through the rest of my mild liners. I think I only have a couple more that are still functioning, but yeah, I'm really impressed by how long these have lasted me and they're great highlighters. I know they're super hyped about. You've probably heard so much about them already, but yeah, I'm just making my way through these so as to not waste, but yeah. Next, I have this Tombow Mono Correction Tape. This is really good correction tape. I would recommend this to anyone who's looking for just a solid sort of like white out tape thing. <laughs> and I feel like this really lays the tape down really easily, smoothly. There's no like weird crinkling in like the tape, which happens sometimes. Super duper good stuff. And I got this on a huge pack on Amazon and it is still lasting me and I still have a few more laying around. And I'm almost done with this one. Cool. Oop. These 
are the Muji pens, but I actually have an assortment of them. I think I actually have a few more. Yep. In my original video, I had these two, but I've actually run out of a few since then. I don't know why, but I feel like I always have better luck with the blue colored Muji 0.38 pens. I feel like sometimes the black ones get a little wonky on me, but I think 0.5 is still one of my faves. It's just such a solid pen, perfect thickness, but I feel like whenever I'm like, oh my God, I love like 0.5 pens they're like the best and then I like write with the 0.3 I'm like oh my god like 0.38 is the best like why did I ever think 0.5 was the best so it's just like both are good so it just kind of is more personal preference as with most stationary things and as you guys can see I've used up quite a oh my god I'm such a beauty guru this is kind of hard though I'm gonna put these down I've used up like so so much ink already and the pink one too like both of these are like on their way out which is kind of crazy because i've had them for such a long time next i have two pencils so one is a really really fancy pencil <laughs> this one's the pencil graph gear 1000.5 and this is just super duper great i really like it it's a great pencil really solid option it's like a good weight it writes really nice i primarily use this for not only like writing and stuff but also sketching i really like it it's and i think that's its main purpose or well, not main purpose but original purpose because it is a drafting pencil there's like a little eraser i've used a lot of it whoops um and yeah it's a really great pencil so the reason why i actually do carry a second pencil with me is that I have two different grades of 0.5 lead that I carry with me or that not, not that I carry with me but that I have in my possession so sometimes I'll just absentmindedly fill this pencil up so sometimes I will fill it with B grade lead and if you're doing Scantron tests B grade I think is too soft to be running through the machines so I have one of these just classic Bic pencils that I know for sure is HB lead and it is very handy for that or if just someone needs a borrow pencil this has a pretty substantial eraser left and I've been really getting back into <laughs> I don't know where I'm dropping everything this is a 0.7 pilot g2 pen such a classic it says 0.38 but I put a 0.7 refill in here and it's just really good and it's very smooth but the ink does dry kind of slowly. We're nearing the end. I have this Paper Mate Ink Joy Gel in 0.5. It's not my favorite, but I like the shape of the pen. It doesn't really hurt my hand when I'm writing. And yeah, the ink dries pretty fast. It's a really good thickness. Then for the final pen in my pen case, I have this standard Bic pen. If you guys didn't know, the ink inside these is actually waterproof. So you can highlight super duper fast after writing with these. And sometimes, you know, you just wanna, you just want something classic. This is good for that. And then I have one of these Uni Propus highlighters. I just have one, this is in the light lavender shade. I like the window tip that it has, it's really nice. And it has a bullet nib as well, which is super thin and perfect if you're like someone who enjoys underlining and like putting stuff in boxes this bullet nib is a lot smaller than the wild liner bullet nib and also it's a lot more durable i suppose and for the last thing in my pen actually there's something more in there so another a final thing that's actually super cute so i'll show you guys is my apple pencil for my ipad this is the first generation i think they have a second generation Apple Pencil that came out with the new iPad Pros that's like super fancy and like wireless charging, which is really cool. And yeah. Oh, and this is magnetic, so that's satisfying to play with too. And then for the last thing in my pencil pouch, there is this super adorable dachshund paperclip. And I have a dachshund, she is the best. And 
so I got these paper clips on an impulse honestly not my best purchase but honestly kind of my best purchase and yeah that is it for things in my pencil case and the inside is kind of dirty so whoops all right so that's all for today's video I hope you guys enjoyed the video today and if you did be sure to give it a big thumbs up because it lets me know that you guys enjoy these types of videos and if you haven't already subscribe if you want to see more of my videos and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Bye!